In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to round up. So here we have a very basic table. And in the first cell, we have a value, and we want to round this value up in the second cell. So you want to click into the cell C4, and we want to type the equals key, and this will bring up the function box. Now you want to type out round up. Now at this stage, you can carry on manually. However, what I recommend, pressing enter on your keyboard. Now by pressing enter, what this does, it gives you all the information that round up needs to create the correct function. So first we have number to round. So we want to click this, and this is the cell that we want the number to be round up from. So now with number to round clicked, we now want to click B4, which is the value box. Now the second value that you need to enter is what identifies how many decimal places you want to round up by. So if you want to round up to one decimal place, just type one and either click the little green tick or press the enter key. And as you can see, the result in C4, the first value has been rounded up to one decimal place. If you want to round up to two decimal places, simply double click the function and then change the one to a two. And again, press the enter key or the green little box. And as you can see, the resulting number is rounded up to two decimal places. Now, as we're using positive numbers, as we've just shown, you can round up to as many decimal places as you wish. However, if you want to round the value up to one whole number, you want to double click the function again to bring up the function box, and we want to change the two to a zero. Now again, we want to press enter or the little green tick. And as you can see, the value has been rounded up to the nearest whole number. Now you can also round these numbers up to tens or hundreds. And to do this, Again, you want to double click the function. You want to take out the zero, but this time we want to replace the zero with negative numbers. So we want to put the minus sign and then one. Then press enter on the green little tick. And this will round up, as you can see, to the nearest 10. Now we want to round up to the nearest 100. Again, let's double click the function box. So now let's delete the one and have minus two. Again, let's press the enter on the little green tick. And as you can see, numbers has rounded up to the nearest 100. And that's how to round up in numbers. If you want to know how to round down, then check out this video here. And also, if you'd like to see more Apple Numbers demonstration videos like this, check out this playlist, where we have many other videos ranging from beginner all the way up to more advanced. And thank you for watching.